Hey, welcome to Computers for the Completely Clueless. I'm Lee Keller. I'm Kim Cavanaugh. And what are we doing here? Yeah, we're a little <laughs> clueless ourselves today, Lee. Yeah. That's not to worry. We're going to dive right in yeah. and, uh, and take care of this week's show. We're going to be talking this week about doing some word processing. Oh, okay. So something a little bit different. In the previous shows, we've been talking a lot about how to manage your environment. And we've been working on some of the basics of computing, how to handle things like, oh, I don't know, files and folders. Okay. And we're going to say it again. Because, well, I'm going to say it again because okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, it's one of those things that I run into all the time. People just don't know where they're putting things in their computer. And you've got to learn. We're supposed to know what we're doing. We still lose stuff. Well, sure we do. And that's why we, can, well, we know about finding things and searching yeah. for things. But, but the, basic, the basic premise is you have folders, and inside your folders you have files. And if you pay Four attention, folders. yeah, you can have subfolders, right. Yeah. But you've got to pay attention. Okay, you got to pay attention to where things are going, where you're putting them, and so it makes it much easier to retrieve them later on. And you can get lost in so many places. I mean, just yesterday, I got an invitation to my email, clicked accept, and I said, oh, I should have checked the date first. Oh, and I yeah. had to look through my calendar to see what date it was on. Right. It was like oh. a month and a half in advance. <laughs> well, well, there you go. So that was a pretty, uh, pretty easy thing to do, yeah. and typically that's what happens to people in a hurry. Um, they save something, save and the computer it. remembers the last place mm -hmm. that you saved something in the same program. So let's say you're in uh, Word and you're, or WordPad, which is what okay. we're going to talk about today, and you're typing up a recipe, and you have a folder mm -hmm. called Recipes, okay? So you've got, and you save it in there. And then the next document you work on is a lease agreement, okay? Mm -hmm. And you have another folder called Lease Agreements, but when you go to save it in Word, where's it going to want to put it, Lee? remember the last folder you saved It's going to be in the recipes folder. Yeah. So you've got to slow down and you've got to stop and look and, and, and see where things are going before you At save At least that. that first time. The first time first is time. so important. Uh, there we go. we got our objectives up on screen. Okay, and uh, so this is always a good reminder for us what we're doing. Chop, blend, So we puree. talked a little bit last week about viewing and we're going to talk about Word processing, that's the, the, the funnest thing I could come up with at the moment is, yeah. you know, a word processor is like a food processor. It lets you take uh, words, yeah. in this case, or images, and hyperlinks, and, and many other things like that, and mix them, mash them, make them into something different. So we're going to be talking about a program called WordPad today. And okay. of course, that's free, comes that with That is a free com Microsoft program Windows. that's been coming with Windows for, I don't know, 10 years, 15 years? Since Windows 3.x. Yeah, it's been around for quite a long time, and it's right there on your computer. You may not even know it's there yeah. because it's hidden pretty deeply there, I think, because Microsoft would rather you buy Word, which is Go a figure. program that you have to pay money for. A lot of money. And at the same time, they provide you with WordPad. So okay. it's a good introduction, though, to... Uh, some of the fundamentals of, of word processing. Okay. So we're actually going to go through the entire process, help you find WordPad to begin with, mm -hmm. create a shortcut so it'll be on your desktop, so the next time you need it, it's going to be right there. And then we're going to go into some of the basic word processing operations that you can do with WordPad. And a lot of these things that you're going to learn how to do, you can use in other word processing programs. Absolutely. It doesn't have to be WordPad. You could be using... Uh, Microsoft Office, you could be using uh, OpenOffice, which That's we've right. shown, or on the Macintosh, NeoOffice. NeoOffice, or even uh, things like Pages and some of those other programs like that. So the things that we're talking about today, which are going to be copy, paste, paragraph, and font formatting, mm -hmm. uh, those are the fundamentals of uh, word processing. Yeah. And it really doesn't matter what program you're using, they're all going to behave pretty much the same way. Okay. So, without further ado, why don't we jump on over into our Windows environment. Sounds like a plan. And we'll get out of PowerPoint here for our high-speed graphics that we have. Uh, yeah. And uh, we're going to start, of all places, we'll start in the Start menu. Yeah, WordPad isn't on my uh That's right. And if desktop. you look in, if you actually, if you look in Start, All Programs, uh, you'd think, well, All Programs, I'm certainly going to see WordPad here. Mm. And I see a lot of programs. And the truth is that you don't. It's buried deeply. So, Start. All programs, now accessories. And way down at the bottom, you see WordPad. At least it's now, not in another folder. Right. Now, let's don't open it up yet because we're going to learn a little a trick here on how to create a, a desktop shortcut. Okay. And you didn't even know about this one. No, this is pretty slick. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. You find a program that you want to have a shortcut. And a shortcut okay. basically is just something you can click on the desktop to open the mm -hmm. program. Easy, quick access, right? Um, so we're going to right click on this program and Right in the middle, you have a, a link that says Send To. And there's some different options there, but what we want to do is send a, a shortcut to the desktop. And it says right there, Desktop Create Shortcut. Pretty easy, right? All I have to do is click on that. That's, you do that. You click on that. And now, if you click on the desktop, 
There's your word pad. There it is. And it looks like a word pad too. Yep. Yeah, well, it does look like a word pad. And notice that it's got the little um, uh, box in the lower left hand corner with an arrow. And that indicates that it's a, a, a shortcut. shortcut to the program, not, not the, the actual, actual program. Yeah. Because people say, oh, 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 if I can't delete this shortcut, I've got all these shortcuts here. If I delete them, I'm afraid I'll throw my program away. No, it's just, it's just a little pointer file that tells the computer to open that program. Okay, let's quickly. double click on that. And... All right. All right, so here we are. And this is a, a, a good, solid, basic word processor. It has all the options that you would normally want to have in a word processing uh, program. Uh, Lee's typing away using voice recognition here. It's pretty fancy. Uh, as I speak, Lee types. That's our, our voice recognition software <laughs> yeah. we have on the show. Um, so it's a good, solid word processor. Um, and it, again, it does most of the things that you want to do. Now, Lee, you've started typing. You've changed this document. What's the very first thing you should do now? Well, actually, a lot of people recommend you do it before you even ah, start before typing. Before you even start typing. This I know is what we talked about pages in the you opening. <laughs> yeah. So we want to save this file. Now, so, the first time you save a file, save is the same as save as. Save is the same as first time you open. Yeah. Right. All right, so it doesn't matter. So you're going to click on save. Mm -hmm. and we actually did a little viewer segment, on mail segment about yeah. save and save as. Remember, and if you saw that episode, there are three things that you must tell the computer about a file mm -hmm. anytime you're going to save it. First thing is? Where you want to save it. Right, save so in. save in. What's the location? Now, we're going to create, uh, why, don't, why don't we stay here for a second? Uh, now, we're in our Documents folder, yep. and how about a subfolder? I think that's a good, exam a good yeah. idea. Let's call it uh, Show Documents. Show Documents. Now, can you show again where you click on that leak? Or over here. Rather, Anytime rather you want to create a new one, yeah. Roll right, over so there. right on the toolbar, right across the top. want the little star in the front. Right, it's got a folder with a mm -hmm. star on it, and that lets you create a, a new folder. Yep. All right, so we did that. Now... If you save this file now, where is it going to go? Lee, is it's it going to go into that new folder? Nope, because I haven't gone into the new ah, folder yet. It still says at the top, save in. To double in. click on that. Uh, so now, save in yep. says show documents, all right? That's the one that I think trips up people more than anything yep. else, is that they don't s slow down to look at where save in is pointing. So we're going to call this, uh, I don't know, let's call this sample formatting or something. Or All right. And look at that. Third thing, okay, so mm -hmm. location, name, and the third thing is the type or the kind of file that it is. Now, WordPad doesn't give you that many options. It's a little limited. Right. Basic. Uh, it's a little basic, but from these options, the number one and the default is going to be RTF or rich text format. Okay. Now, if you don't know about rich text format, it's a really great format to use if you need to share files with other people. Works anywhere. It does. It works across platforms and in different programs. So that's a good one to choose. Um, and we'll go ahead and we'll click on save. Okay. Well, we've saved the file. Right. Why don't we come back in a few minutes and we'll show you how to do some formatting in it. Very good.